Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to go through an example of how to find a percent of a number. Let's jump into our example where we need to find 35% of 40. Now remember, percent means per 100. In other words, percent means for every 100 or out of 100. So 35% is 35 over 100 as a fraction. So again, 35% equals 35 over 100, 35 hundredths as a fraction. So here we are finding a percent, a fraction of 40. And that word of tells us to multiply. So when finding a percent of a number, we multiply. Now we can do 35 over 100, so the fractional form of the percent times 40. But remember, we can always convert between percents, fractions, and decimals. So I like using the decimal form of the percent. Now in order to convert a percent to a decimal, we divide by 100 because 35% again equals 35 over 100 as a fraction. And we divide the numerator, the top number of a fraction, by the denominator, the bottom number of a fraction, to convert a fraction to a decimal. So we can just go straight from a percent to a decimal by dividing by 100, since we know the denominator will be 100. And a quick way to divide by 100 is to move the decimal twice to the left. The decimal comes after a whole number, so right after 35 for 35%. So right here for 35%. And we move it once, twice to the left. So we get 0.35, 35 hundredths. So 35% equals 35 over 100 as a fraction, 35 hundredths. And this is going to equal 0.35 as a decimal, 35 hundredths. So there's our percent, fraction, and decimal. Now we need to take either the fractional form of the percent or the decimal form of the percent and multiply. We're going to use the decimal form. So we need to do 0.35, 35 hundredths, times 40. Let's multiply this by hand off to the side. And remember, when we multiply decimals, we can take out any decimals, multiply, and then place the decimal in our answer. So let's take out the decimal and do 35 times 40. But I like putting the larger number on top when multiplying, so let's put 40 on top and do 40 times 35. And now we multiply. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 4 is 20. We are done with this 5, and we are moving over to the 3. So we need our 0 here. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 4 is 12. And now we add. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. 2 plus 2 is 4. And then we have 1. Now we need to place the decimal. So we go back to the original problem and count how many digits are to the right of a decimal. We have one digit, two digits to the right of a decimal. That means our answer will have two. So one, two digits to the right of the decimal. The decimal goes in between the four and the zero. That gives us an answer of 14. The two zeros to the right of the decimal don't change the value of anything. We have 14 either way, so we can leave those off. 35 hundredths times 40 gives us 14. So 35% of 40 is 14. So there you have it. There's how to find a percent of a number. If you need another example, check the description for a link to that video. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.